So here's some better video on the X2 conversion, the Thompson lead screws. So it's an older conversion. This was done quite a few years back. So it's also got the uh, belt drive conversion as well uh, from the uh, little machine shop. So it's a little two-speed job set up. So it's got the uh, they used to call these the Green Monsters. These are the NEMA 23s, but they're extended longer. Uh, if you look at them compared to the ones that are on my sheet, Oko, you can see they're about a third bigger, a uh, third longer. So, uh, very high powered steppers. So, okay. Control board's all inside this box here, and then there's the old XP machine that runs the Mach 3 software. So, I guess I'm gonna move this down to my garage, uh, get this out of my other shop here that just doesn't see much usage. Um, I might even shape Oko. Uh, if I can modify this and actually uh, put this on something where I can swing it up against the wall out of the way, that might work in my, in my garage. Um, I'd love to move back my mini lathe and my uh, manual mill as well. It's uh, another X2 Grizzly that's uh, not converted. Uh, both of these are manual. It's also a manual lathe. Uh, but this is fully CNC converted uh, and also obviously the CNC gantry from uh, Shipoko that, uh, that I built, Shipoko 2 from Eventables. So, uh, yeah, I like the footprint of this. You know, it's small, it's about two feet by two feet. Uh, probably build a cabinet in the bottom, put the PC down here, and uh, and then enclose this, maybe do some plexiglass in the front. Uh, but I think if this down in my garage, uh, I'd be a lot better off there. Uh, better space to use it, now get it down there with the laser and such. Um, but uh, yeah, I gotta move it. I get this thing moved. So that bottom base is heavy though. There's actually a big lead plate in the bottom of that. Uh, so I'll probably move this, I think, towards the end of the week. Um, got the power draw bar coming in for this as well. I ordered that online. So I gotta take the box off here and the power draw bar will mount right here using the uh, Tormark tool changer, uh, air driven. So that's a nice setup. Um, I also have the uh, air assist kit, just go for the laser. So I'm gonna have air right next to the laser. So I'll probably put this right near my laser, plumb it up pretty easily. So uh, it's all my own nice little small machine shop at the uh, at the house here to be able to do small projects and such. So, but uh, that's about it. Once again, guys, like what we're doing here on the channel, uh, smash that like and subscribe and uh, we'll keep the updates coming. Thanks. All right, so I got the CNC all loaded into the back of the truck and that thing weighs a ton because those bottom plates are lead. At least I think they're lead or very heavy steel. Uh, I forgot just how heavy that is. Uh, this is stainless, so which is nice. So like I said, I could definitely repurpose the stand. I'm gonna make that into a nice cabinet. It'll look pretty good when I'm all done. So so pretty good. We'll be uh we'll get this thing set up here in the garage soon. Alright, so now comes the real challenge, finding a home for the X2 CNC down here in the garage. Um thinking I'm gonna put it over here to the uh, right side of the bench. I'm gonna move, I'm thinking the spuffing wheel, the bandsaw, and this saw, I'm gonna slide them all down this way. And I think I'm gonna put the CNC right here on the end. Uh, not quite up against the bench, cause I need to leak to this handle here, but maybe just off of it. So it's kind of right in front and then I can actually put a, some outlets here to plug everything in. Uh, so I can still work on that side. I can still get a car in this bay, no problem. And I can still get uh, other equipment into this bay. Um, the old toolboxes, I'm going to move those down to my shop. So I might even stick those in the truck tonight um, and drag those down there. So because these are all, this is uh, mostly empty. So two little things in here. So these are mostly empty. So the old Craftsman, it's kind of beat up, but uh, we're putting together a, uh, a small little print shop to do... Uh, graphics and uh, cut vinyl and uh, probably some shirts and such uh, at my shop. So uh, that's why I'm freeing up the space there and I'm moving the CNC machine there down here into my shop. So this should be a pretty good addition. I might move the lathe and the manual CNC down here, or the manual mill, uh, and I might put them on the bench back here um, behind the LS. I might clean up this area back here and stick them right along there. I might put one there and put one there. Um, don't know what to do with the table saw that's down there, but uh, we'll come up with a plan. So uh, don't mind my wiring mess. So yeah, I was gonna do my wiring harness for the LS project, but wiring harness has become so inexpensive now, I might be going down the path of uh, Holly Terminator kit and uh, aftermarket wiring harness just to get that wiring completed and get me another step closer to getting that thing in the Volvo. 
So, all right. So let me uh, we move around a few things here and uh, see how this thing looks. So uh, give me a few minutes. All right. So as I had talked about, <clears throat> I put the outlets in the back just on a power strip. Clean up the cables, get everything reconnected. I uh, just gotta bolt it down, get the bolts over here. Uh, everything came out pretty, pretty nice, just the way I kind of wanted it. Um, kind of put the chair on the side. Uh, I like having the keyboard in the front because you can actually jog and control the machine uh, while you're while you're looking at it, sitting on this side or you know at, at an angle, you know over here, so it's not too too bad. Uh, but this works. You know, it's, it's pretty neat, pretty clean. Uh, it doesn't take as much space as I thought it would. Uh, we can definitely make this work down, down here in the garage. I think I'll definitely use this more with the other projects I have going on. Um, you know, between the tractor project, the laser stuff, um, you know, the uh, Wagonzilla build we have going on. So this is all all good stuff. So not bad, not bad. I'm definitely happy with uh, getting this thing down here. I will use it a lot more here in the garage versus uh, at my other shop uh, we do most of the computer work um, this machine will definitely get a lot more a lot more usage here in the garage um, you know where i've got uh i've got a lot more uh, a lot more room down here i can pull vehicles in atvs quads get the car in here you know dirt bikes motorcycles and such so and uh, this is where i do more of my more of my uh, my work on on things and fabrication and such so this will come in really handy down here so but uh yeah that's uh that's it so uh Appreciate you guys checking it out. Uh, once again, smash that like and subscribe, you know, for more updates. Uh, you know, let's see if we can make some cool stuff off of this machine. All right. Thanks, guys.